Hi everyone, and welcome back to AG Dolls Down Under, the channel where I, an Australian person, talk about my American Girl Dolls. Um, hi, I'm Rosalie. I haven't been here in like a year and a bit. Sorry? <laughs> um, as of this January, when I'm filming, it's been 10 years since I got my first doll, which is wild and crazy. Uh, that's a long time to me. Uh, I got my first doll when I was 14. Um, I'm now 24. Uh, and that is Miss Raven here. Yay! She is genuinely like one of my favourite possessions in my life. Uh, but also she's not just a possession, she's an icon. Uh, so this video was going to be me talking you through my current doll collection and also just having a chat. I have my cup of tea, which is Blasphemy in a cup, which is a coffee cup. It says bean addict with some toe beans that are shaped like coffee beans. Let's chat about my dolls. Uh, if at any point you hear some meowing, I have three cats that live with me. One of them is sitting on this chair. The other one is at my feet. I'm worried I'm gonna step on her. Should be fine. Uh, so this is Raven. Raven is truly me number 24, but at the time I got her, she was my American girl number 24. Raven has a curled wig with a boil wash method and some freckles. Uh, ever since I've had her, I've wanted to give her more freckles than Truly Me 24 comes with, and I just love this doll so much. Raven was my only doll for about a year, uh, so she and I had lots of adventures together, took lots of photos, made lots of clothes, had a great time with this lovely lady. Uh, she starred in a lot of my stop motions. Uh, so this is Miss Raven. She is just a little self-centered, a little aggressive, uh, very outspoken. We love Raven. She is an icon. This would have been a lot easier if I had put them in order. This is actually the second time I filmed this video. The first time um, I filmed it and then immediately customized some of the dolls in my collection. So let's chat about AJ who's next. I'm gonna stop putting them back on the shelf and worry they're gonna fall over. So this is Miss AJ. AJ is truly me number 41, who is an uncommon girly here on AGTube and AGIG. I don't see a lot of people with truly me number 41, um, which is rude because she's beautiful in every way, shape and form. Uh, AJ is wearing a uh, old American girl truly me dress. I'm not sure the exact name of it. I got it in a lot um, and I love her in it. Anything floral is for AJ. AJ is really shy and quiet. Uh, she's very soft-spoken and she loves to read and play cello. Uh, she just has the most lovely wig. Any of these short curly wigs are my favourite for American Girl because the curls are long enough that you can uh, braid them and you can ponytail them because they're not super short hair uh, but they just spring up to such a cute length. I love the shorter hair American Girl dolls. After AJ we get to... Doo -doo -doo -doo. Where's Phoenix? There is Phoenix. This is Phoenix. She is truly me number 64. And she was the only doll I've ever picked out in person uh, when I went on holiday to the US and Canada in 2015. Uh, it was a tie up between her and number 62, but my mum liked her better. So she encouraged me to get Phoenix, even though in my heart of hearts, I really wanted number 62. I'm actually really grateful I got Phoenix. She is a beautiful doll to have in your collection. Uh, I do find the long straight hair is actually one of my least favourite wigs for an American Girl doll. I find in ponytails they just stick out strangely. Uh, sometimes they're a bit too long, uh, they get a little out of hand, they look really pretty but in photos if you take them outside it blows everywhere. Uh, but I, don't get me wrong, absolutely adore this doll. Number 64 is probably my favourite of the Jess Moultrie Me's because I love how they've painted the eye notches similar to how Ivy's eye notches are painted. Uh, she's wearing a Truly Me mix and match uh, jumper. My partner hates this jumper. He doesn't like leopard print. I love it. It looks like she's ready for warming up because uh, Phoenix is my dancer. Uh, she has these track pants that I made that I love, the seams on the outside, and then these uh, American Girl brand uh, sneakers that match the blue. Next is River. He is a Pleasant Company Samantha that no longer exists. Uh, he was my boy doll. He was a Pleasant Company Samantha with hazel eyes and a blonde wig. As of about three days ago, I decided I don't need a boy doll in my collection. I don't make content around storylines. 
I'm not, I never was super passionate about dressing him, it wasn't an exciting thing to have in my collection, he was kind of just there. So what I did is I turned him back into a Pleasant Company Samantha, but not with his original eyes as they're no longer in my collection. I traded them with a friend for a pair of hazel eyes you'll see later on in this video. So I'll show you River, who is now Samantha, but because she's not truly a Samantha, because her eyes are slightly different, I just call her Sam. She is a Pleasant Company Samantha, not white body, tan body. Uh, she is wearing Nellie's meat dress because it's the only uh, Samantha era dress that I own in my collection, uh, as I had a Nellie for a while. Uh, she's got her original wig, which is actually in really good shape. Uh, this is a really lovely wig. She has beautiful little bouncy curls, her little white stockings and then shoes, and she's actually wearing Marie Grace's uh, little uh, bloomers because her Nelly bloomers are missing the elastic and I haven't gotten around to replacing it. I did touch up her face with some chalk pastels. They're not sealed, they're just floating on the top of her skin uh, because I'd already glued her wing down before I decided I wanted to touch up her paint. Uh, I really really like her as Samantha. She went from one of the least favorite dolls in my collection as River to one of the dolls I really like looking at. She's such a beautiful doll and I don't think she'll ever wear modern clothing. I think she's my historical girly. Just because she looks slightly different to the rest of my collection being a Pleasant Company doll. But I really, really like her. She's such a, a sweet face. Uh, she was my Dress Like an AG uh, partner for this year. Uh, you'll see on my Instagram at agdollsdownunder if you want to follow. Uh, I dressed in a outfit similar to Nellie's meat outfit and we matched. She's so cute. Brielle, named after a Sky Sailing song and also uh, BFC Ink Studios or Pebbles and Toad on Etsy had a Grace that she named Brielle and I loved that name. So this is my Brielle. She is Leah, Girl of the Year 2016. The only Girl of the Year I've gotten in her release year. Uh, I fell in love with her from her promotional images. I was a girly who loved jungle animals. I had a jungle themed party for my like seventh, ninth birthday. So her collection made inner child very happy. Uh, and as much as I don't really keep her true to her character of the books, she's not Leah, she's Brielle, um, that is definitely something that drew me to her. So she does like to wear beachier outfits. She's my beach goer. Uh, she loves to stand up paddleboard. She loves to do beach cleanups. She's my little vegan. She is a DJ as well. She's very cool. She's Raven's older sister. So Raven is my first doll. They don't look super similar, but also a lot of siblings don't look super similar. So I think it works. Uh, she is a beautiful doll. A lot of people have Leah in their collection and I would highly recommend her. Even for a not super new doll, her wig is still in great condition. I love the soft waves that her curls have rather than a really tight ringlet. But there are ways to give her a really tight ringlet. Um, and her hazel eyes are a bit more unique than other hazel eyes that I've seen. I think they have more brown in them than others. My Leah as well just has really straight eyebrows, really great lip paint. She's in great condition. Um, she's been on a couple adventures with me. Every time I go to the beach I usually bring Brielle because she's my beachy girl and up until only just recently has she gotten some bathers that don't look like they're made for toddlers. So I'm very happy for her to have a cute beachy outfit. So this is Brielle. After Brielle was Vienna. Uh, this is number 58, this is Vienna. She actually has green eyes, as her brown eyes are in Sam. Uh, she has always had, um, she had blue eyes for a bit and now she has green eyes. I'd eventually love to give her her brown eyes back. I think she looks very unique with her green eyes uh, and it's not super noticeable. Uh, Vienna is Raven's girlfriend uh, and she is my little fashion designer. She loves to design, not so, she's a designer, sometimes there's a difference. Uh, and she loves to wear just like cute outfits, she loves to scrapbook, she's a bit of an artist, but mainly for fashion. Uh, Vienna is just a great, great doll. I love her wig. I say that about most of my dolls because I usually pick them for their wigs. Uh, I love the really, really tight curls. They're easy to style. Her wig is really versatile. You can put it in one puff, two puffs. Uh, I've done little short ponytails in her. I've even seen people do braids in her hair. I won't because I love how springy her hair is right now. I don't really mess with it once I'm really happy with it. 
Um, and I love her little short curls near her face. She's so cute. So this is Miss Vienna. Uh, after Vienna, I don't think any of my dolls from this point onwards were purchased new from AG by myself. There is one doll here who is a new from AG doll that I got as a present, but Vienna was the last doll purchased brand new from American Girl for a while. From here, things get really weird because I started enjoying customizing dolls more. So I'm going to show them in order of like the actual face, so the vinyl body arriving to me. So next would be a Nelly, who then became my lookalike back when I had long hair and no bangs. This is Thalia, or Mini Rosalie, uh, my partner likes to call her. So this is Thalia, she's a Nelly with a face up by me, um, and then a Truly Me number 61 wig. She is a beautiful doll, her wig is very dry. I would eventually like to boil curl it a bit more, just neaten it up a little bit. Uh, it came to me very, very played with. Uh, she also had a couple haircuts. Her front sections are a lot shorter than the rest, which is fine. I had layers in my hair for a long time, so she was a really good look-alike. She's wearing a uh, retired American girl, uh, I believe the tunic outfit shirt, and then the polka dot sweater outfit uh, corduroys, and then some our generation shoes. She has Mary Grace eyes as well, which are more of a grey, as I have more uh, grey eyes than true blue. She's a really sweet doll. I rarely photograph her because it really feels weird to take photos of my tiny self, but I do really like having her in my collection. Sometimes dressing her is really hard too. I'm quite picky with her outfits. After Thalia, we get to a Marie Grace doll who wasn't Marie Grace for very long. She became Alice, who was uh, modeled after a character from a book. She had a Nelly wig um, and brown eyes, but now, she is lovingly called Tiny Taylor, uh, but her real name is Marjorie. So Marjorie is my Taylor Swift inspired doll. She's not true Taylor, uh, but I think she's close enough for me. So Marie Grace face, Caroline eyes, and this wig from eBay. It was listed as a Caroline wig, but as you can see, that is not a Caroline wig length. I have two dolls in my collection with Caroline eyes and I just, love them. They are a beautiful pair of eyes to have in your dolls. I recommend if you haven't seen them in person, find someone with a Caroline and just stare at their faces. Uh, she's wearing a Basil Mentos hoodie because we love repping the OG queen of AG Tube, or one of them. Uh, and then she's wearing some jeans that I made and then some Pleasant Company soccer shoes that we're just going to ignore our soccer shoes. They're just sneakers. At this point I had about a year gap before I bought my next doll. And this one, along with the next two, were all presents for my 19th birthday. A lot of friends pitched in some money um, to buy me a doll off eBay for me to fix up. Uh, and they ended up having enough money for two dolls and they picked out one and said for me to pick out the next. I actually put in some of my own money as well and purchased two additional dolls as opposed to just one. Uh, so this was the one that they picked out for me. This is number 26, who I call Kestrel in my collection. And despite her wig looking very pretty right now, she arrived to me with three clumps of curl mats. Uh, and it took a lot of work to get her wig looking pristine again. Uh, I loved fixing up this doll. I believe she's had a slight haircut at the back. Her wig is quite short here and quite long at the front. But number 26 is a lot of people's favourites in their collection for a good reason. She is... I keep telling you all my dolls are beautiful because they are, but number 26 is just a really lovely combo of the Addy face in medium skin and then with the curly wig that I cannot get enough of. Any wig with these tight ringlet curls are so versatile, like they rarely struggle to go back to their original curl shape, especially I'm quite lucky with my uh, curly hair dolls that even though I would do fun hairstyles on them. I would never have trouble with them going back to their original curl pattern. Now she's wearing this dress that I made uh, with a kit meat sweater underneath, one of the short sleeve ones, not the long sleeve ones, and blue shoes that we're going to ignore because I ran out of purple shoes. <laughs> After Kestrel we get up to my two girl of the year grails at the time. I'll start with Billy, who is actually a McKenna girl of the year 2012. I started uh, looking at getting my first American Girl doll in 2013, but I didn't purchase her till 2014. 
Um, but obviously McKenna's Girl of the Year 2012, and she was the doll that looked most like me when I was at the age I was getting into American Girl. And when I found out I couldn't get her, I was devastated. And of course I didn't want to buy a doll off eBay for my first doll, I really wanted a doll from American Girl. So I just resigned myself to not having a McKenna in my collection, until of course I had this uh, doll money, um, and decided that I would try and get a McKenna off eBay. She also came with me uh, to me with very ruined hair, and instead of boil washing, I did a straightening on it. I, I'm not unhappy with how her hair is, it's just a little frazzled at the bottom. I might eventually boil wash her as well. Um, I also think I use too much conditioner in her hair, because sometimes it does feel a little greasy. Uh, Billy never wears anything other than shorts, that is her personality. Uh, Every time I dress her, she will only be in shorts. It could be a romper, it just has to have shorts. She could be in a long sleeve shirt, it has to have shorts. She just will only wear shorts. She likes the practicality. They're comfy, they're easy to wear. Next up we have my favourite girl of the year of all time, Miss Chrissa Maxwell. Uh, why Chrissa best girl of the year? Because her movie, obviously. Uh, Chrissa is a super cute doll to have. In my collection I call her Robin. Uh, she is very childish. She loves toys, she loves collecting things, um, and she loves to make pillow forts. She's very much like never grow up, um, childhood wonder, just she's just a cutie. Uh, she loves to uh, take her stuffed animals everywhere with her. Um, she's just cute and fun. We love Miss Robin. So Robin's very much the baby of the family, and I always love to dress her in, like, very of her era, truly me outfits in my collection, especially the strappy one. I wanted this so bad as uh, first getting into American Girl Collector, found it secondhand recently, was so happy to find it. It's so cute, but also cursed in every way. The combo of the stripes in different directions and different colours. It's so much, I love it. <laughs> I told myself I would have a break from collecting. Did I have a break? Absolutely not. Uh, Piper is next. Piper is a custom I bought online. Uh, she was bought off Instagram and she is a Jess mold with Caroline eyes. Uh, she went through like four different wigs. She had a Zazu Dolls wig to start and then she went to a Samantha wig and then she went to a Marie Grace wig with curls and now she has a Nelly wig. I love her in the ginger wig. I think it suits her a lot more. I also gave her some freckles, she looks very cute and cheeky. Uh, Piper is very, very much the diva in the family. She will only wear cute pastel coloured things, uh, and she wears quite a bit of pink, it just must be pastel. Except of course her hat is not pastel. You can pick out the bright pink with the soft pink as well. Uh, she has the licorice lunchbox as her bag, because that looks like my cat. I have a little tuxedo. I was really excited. Um, when Claudia released, and I really wanted her, but I couldn't justify it. And then my partner asked me if I wanted to get her for my birthday. We'd been dating for a year at the time, so it was super surprising. I didn't think he'd want to buy such an elaborate gift for me, and I was really, really, like, felt so special. Um, and it was fun because I got to pick out some things from the American Girl website that I paid for, and then he bought Claudia and her accessories as my birthday present. So let me show you my Claudie. Though in my collection she goes by Esty. So this is Esty. Short for Estelle. Um, so this is Esty. She is a Claudie. Nothing changed. Uh, she has little pin curls at the front, which is my favourite thing about the Claudie wig. I like to put headbands on her. So she's wearing this retired Truly Me headband. Uh, an Our Generation tank top, Kit's meat dress, and uh, meat skirt, sorry and then the shoes that came with the outfit that AJ was wearing, the purple Truly Me dress. She's also wearing her necklace because of course I have her accessories. I love dressing her in just kind of outlandish, very feminine outfits. She pulls off anything she wears. I thought she was going to be a really modern, cool character, but she just exudes soft and sweetness to me. She is just a lovely, lovely doll. If you haven't got a Claudia in your collection, what are you doing? Her face mold is so iconic. I love the really pointed chin and the really full cheeks. She's so cute. And then her eyes being the uh, decal 
uh, brown eyes rather than the pinwheel. She's just so cute. Everyone in my collection is cute, but she's especially uh, dear to me because she was a gift from my partner and the only time. Next up we have a doll who's my not so secret number one favorite in my entire collection. For no reason, very specifically, I just love her. Oh, I missed someone. Oops, I went out of order. Before Esty, I had a uh, Truly Me number 61, uh, our sweet ginger girly who uh, donated her wig very kindly to Mini Thalia. And she has been through like five different customs. She was Delta for a while, she had blonde hair, uh, she's had brown hair, she had Caroline eyes for a long period of time, but now I'm finally settled on the name Jude and I think this is her final look. She has hazel eyes, covered freckles all over her face, um, and then a Marie Grace wig that I have boil curled. Now Jude I think is giving me the vibes that Truly Me 55 gives, uh, except with a slightly lighter wig and of course slightly longer wig. Truly Me 55 being the queen of 2015 AGTube, we love Truly Me 55. Uh, she gives the same vibes to me. Now we're up to my number one favourite in the entire universe. <laughs> so I love all my dolls, but I would be lying if I didn't say that Kimberly was my favourite. Kimberly was purchased on Facebook Marketplace for 90 Australian dollars, which is not cheap, but not like American girl price. So she was secondhand and she is just everything. <laughs> I don't know why she's my favorite. There is no specific reason as to why Kimberly number 29 is my favorite doll of all time. She just is. She has a version of the classic mold I really like. Um, she has a wig that's really lovely and easy to style and really nice to play with because of those layers. It just looks pretty in every photo I take. She has a uh, paint that's a really unique uh, tone. I find her lip colour is a lot more neutral and cool than a lot of the American Girl dolls with medium skin. She has pinwheel brown eyes which I think photograph beautifully. She is my little Australian girly. Like she loves to wear things she can go on adventures in. If I travel she's the first one in my suitcase. Like she's just my comfort girly. Uh, something about Kimberly just makes my soul happy. She's so sweet, she's so cute, her wig is so lovely, um, she's just friend shaped, she's fun. Uh, she's currently wearing a Sage's sweater outfit sweater, a shirt that I made, jeans from the tunic outfit and these western boots. Uh, these are the boots that she came in, she came in the pink gingham, no not gingham, pink checkered western outfit, which is not my favourite outfit but she seems to always put these boots on. She's so cute. I love this doll. Um, Kimberly is just a joy to have. If you haven't got a 29 in your collection, consider adding her. I find that her wig is just perfect um, and she's a very like classic looking American Girl doll. Uh, she has been to Sydney with me. I'm based in Western Australia so she did go on a holiday with me um, and on that holiday she fell in a little man-made river and I was only in Sydney for 24 hours and she was soaking wet in my suitcase for most of those 24 hours and I felt so bad. <laughs> she was fine, she's um, been through the wash, she has a very clean body now, uh, very clean hair, she just swelt like a swamp for about 24 hours and I felt so bad. So this is Miss Kimberly. This is my a uh, cutie called Mela, M-E-L-A, named after a character from Pokemon Diamond, oh not Pokemon Diamond, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Uh, she came to me in the most frazzled condition ever. <laughs> I bought her for 50 Australian dollars, which is really dirt cheap for an American Girl doll, especially here. Uh, but Miss Mela was a absolutely frazzled Truly Me girly. I believe she's in the 13s, 17s-ish. Uh, one of your like just girlies with bangs and long hair. Obviously she doesn't have long hair anymore. I can't take credit for her cute haircut. The person, or the lovely little girl who owned her before me, uh, chopped off all her hair and she did a pretty even job. Like it's a pretty good cut. This child has the makings of a hairdresser. Um, it was however definitely straightened because it was crunchy and like electrocuted looking. 
I unfortunately don't have a lot of before photos. I think I posted a customizing video of her, so I think it might have been the video before this. Go watch it. Uh, Mella has tattoos. She's the second doll with tattoos in my collection. The first is my mini-me, as I have tattoos, so she has tattoos. And now we have last, but not last, because it's another doll incoming. This is a Gumtree, which is like Australian Craigslist um, Gumtree girly, who, if you remember when I was talking about Phoenix, I had mentioned that the doll I wanted to get in America was number 62. Um, and I know that she's on a lot of people's lists, and I found her in Western Australia for 75 Australian dollars. Her glasses are glaring. This is Syra. Syra is my glasses girly. Uh, she is wearing Pleasant Company fruit dress, uh, old meat outfit, truly me, uh, shirt, and then the sneakers that go with Robin's dress, and of course a cute little hair bow. Uh, Syra is my STEM girly. She is an architect major. So in my collection, I'll give a more overview about this in a different video, I think. Um, but they all live in a dorm room at, well, not a dorm room, but they're all in the same dorm building at Innistar U because, oh, I miss Innistar U. Please, let's talk in the comments about how cool Innistar U was. So Syra is number 62 and I am so grateful to have one not only with the good eyes, but also the old Sonali face mold. Like she, oh, I love the Sonali face. She's so cute. Um, and she's my last doll for now. Uh, I'm not sure when I'll be posting this video, hopefully in the next week. Um, but in mid-February, I am very grateful that I will be heading to Melbourne to see the Eras tour. Um, I was just snooping on Facebook Marketplace one day and discovered that someone was selling a bunch of American Girl items, but she did have a Sonali. Ah! <laughs> so this Sonali was out of my budget, unfortunately, um, but I meant I had messaged the seller and asked if she'd be willing to do a payment plan, and she said yes. <laughs> so I have a Sonali waiting for me in Melbourne to go pick her up at the end of February, and I just want her in my hands already but I have to wait. This has been my All My Dolls video, which is probably like 40 minutes long. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Thanks for sticking around.